everyone very good afternoon all of you how are you all very good afternoon all are ready for algorithm marathon so here we are going to do all the important algorithm here first of all one by one we are going to cover everything first of all we will do complexity of recurrence relation through the master theorem because uh, there are always 100 percent confirmed topic from where questions are always coming one question two question also can be there searching algorithm comparison different types of shorting algorithm double short selection short insertion short mark short quick short and in searching linear search and binary search after that the comparison on the shortest path algorithm that is very important algorithm Dijkstra, floyd Virchow, and bellman ford that is also we are going to cover here and yesterday i covered prims and kruskal the spanning tree that part we did yesterday and the data structure part we did yesterday those who did not watch i hope you will watch that must watch it because data structure completely marathon we did yesterday here we will do the com com uh, complexity analysis all the algorithm and the question so many fcq we are going to do here so all are ready for do this marathon so many uh, till now if you did not learn algorithm then also it will be very easy for you I can guarantee that yes then also it is going to be very easy for you right so uh, if you are getting scared about math if you are getting scared about the algorithm or you are not feeling good that yes I will be able to so do or ready? not everything 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 will be very very easy for you yes i will make it easy because i will explain in a easy way and after that you can remember everything and definitely you will get score in this core subject also because this is a core subject from where questions are coming always okay from where always questions are coming Cholo. so let's start without wasting time Let's start it. Do you have plan to do? Yes, definitely. Definitely plan is there. Tomorrow also till your exam I am going to do the marathon. Don't worry. Till the exam I will be there with you to do the marathon. Don't worry. We will do that we will do that definitely because it's the time to do the marathon okay so don't worry we are going it we are doing it okay so let's start here i can see already everyone join other students are maybe joining sunday Sunday they are taking Sunday lunch till now maybe not completed is it yes tomorrow TOC TOC tomorrow TOC kar denge theek hai request hai TOC ka tomorrow we will do TOC tomorrow we will do the TOC no problem TOC networking all the hard subject all the all the hard subject we will do don't worry don't worry don't worry okay chalo everything i will make it easy so first of all say see that what we will do and those who are watching firstly you can click on like button because you are going to like this class and share this to all of your friends so that they can also get the benefit of the class okay so first thing is whenever you are going to learn the complexity whenever you are doing the complexity then you have to remember this this list the list is very very important that is which one is higher which one is lower first of all the higher one is 2 to the power 2 n 2 to the power 2 n after that there is n factorial because the comparison is very very important so after that there will be 4 to the power n after 4 to the power n there will be 2 to the power n then there will be n square then here will be n log n now n log n and log n factorial n log n with the log n factorial that is very close that's why 
means sometimes we can say that n, n log n is greater than the log n factorial but it is very close and whenever you are comparing log n with root n then actually root n is greater than log n and 2 to the power n is greater than n square also and other than that after log n factorial there will be 2 to the power log n that's why i already told here and then there will be log square n then there will be root log n this comparison is very very important because if you don't know the comparison then you will do the mistake here this is very 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 important because just now i am going to ask the question just now we will do the question so yes so here you can do the question now here you can see from the comparison only the asymptotic in um, comparison came here do this one Ashfia, every day I am getting your message here. Every day I am getting your message. If you till now not connected with me, those who are not connected with me, you can connect with me through this WhatsApp number 8697365460. Try to be connected. Especially I know that Ashfia, you are every day you are messaging. Every day I am getting your message on YouTube. So maybe you are not connected. So that's why I am telling you and everyone. Those who are not connected. You can WhatsApp me. So this is my WhatsApp number. You can join the WhatsApp group also. Chalo. So here what will be the answer for this one. Asymptotic notation. These are the notations given. Choose the correct order. What is the correct order here. Which one is the correct order? Tell me, tell me. Which one is the correct one? Tell me the answer. Answer, answer, answer is not coming. I cannot see any answer. Anyone is not answering. What happened? In chat box. Now I can see Saranya, Madhu, Meeta. Okay, now the answers are coming. Yes, so answer will be what? Answer will be option 4. Those who are telling option 1, they are wrong. Option 2 is also wrong. Option 3 is also wrong. Just now I told that's why just now I told go back here just now I told that root n equals to greater than log n. Root to the power n is greater than n square. n 3 by 2 is greater than n log n and 2 to the power n is greater than n to the power log n. Always 2 to the power n 2 to the power 2 n is always higher one always these are higher one. And that's why your answer will be you can see here this is the 2 to the power n will be the last one because it is asking you in increasing order increasing order means smallest to largest. So the large one will be definitely this one that is a is the large one largest one after that next one is the n log n that is d then next one is the n to the power 3 by 2. And the last one is the n log n because this is the smallest one. n log n is the smallest one. 2 to the power n is the largest one. And that's why your answer will be this one. The asymptotic notations are very very important. The chart to remember the sequence is very very important. Because otherwise you will be not able to do the complexity also. Now in complexity analysis there are B go, omega. How to compare, what to do. Most of the time students are getting confused that how should we do it. So here I am telling you the easy one easy thing because if you are getting confused with this type of graph what is this ma'am I am not getting what is this. So don't worry I am going to tell you the simple and easy way how you will be never forgot. You will never forgot it. You cannot forget after whatever I am going to tell you after that you will never forget this key what is this. So first of all you can remember one thing that worst case, worst case, worst case means to solve any problem there will be some maximum time required and there will be some minimum time required. 
maximum time means that is my worst case maximum time means worst case minimum time required means that is my best case so worst case always we are doing with big o this is called big o and minimum time that is best case we will say with omega and when best and worst case all are both are same then we will go for the theta notation then we can say theta now how to compare here the comparison is going on between of always two function there will be two function fn and gn there are two function whenever you are comparing fn and gn this two function then if gn is greater than fn when gn is greater than fn means how to remember always go for opposite direction and you should write like this way gn is bigger than fn how to write gn is bigger than fn gn is bigger than fn that's why what we can write this is order of gn gn is bigger than fn means it is order of gn order of gn okay next one i am coming what to read here when you are writing this one that is omega whenever i am coming to omega omega is what you can see this gn is smaller than fn this gn is smaller than fn gn is smaller than fn that's why what we can say it is omega of gn this is omega of gn and theta means when actually the fn and gn both are same it is equal fn and gn both are equal or we can say best case worst case both are same best case and worst case both are same do it then we will go for theta best case worst case both are same that's why it is telling that fn with some con, con Uh, with some uh, constant whenever we are adding then it is equal and whenever we are adding then it is equal that's why we are going for theta this is the simple way you can remember the simple way is clear what to do what is fn what is gn what is uh, theta is this clear so i will ask you some quick quick question and you can tell me the answer so that your concept will be clear on fn gn and all after that we will go for the master theorem your complete understanding i am here to cover it your complete understanding will be cover one by one everything should be cover so here your question is oh my tell me one thing if i am telling that fn equals to 100n plus 1000 and gn equals to n square then how i can compare then can i say that is it true or false can i say that fn equals to order of gn can i say that is it correct fn equals to big o of gn is it correct is this true or false tell me is it true or false here i cannot start the poll here you have to answer in chat box tell me in the chat box it is true or false fn is order of gn is it true or false big o of gn fn is big o of gn is it true or false true or false true or false yes no yes no rajkumar is telling false gauri is telling false thasin is telling yes true true yes see that what i told what i told how to do you need to read in opposite direction that is gn is bigger than fn 
gn is bigger than fn yes because check the highest power always check the highest power here highest power is n square here highest power is n so always definitely the highest power will be bigger and that's why this statement is true that's why this statement is true it's not false those who are telling false they are wrong this is true questions are coming from here this is true this is not the false this is true okay and if i can i say that ki gn can i say that ki fn is omega of gn is this true or false fn is omega of gn can i say that is this true or false fn is omega of gn is it true or false it is not omega yes it is false definitely it will be false because this one is true i already told gn is bigger than fn so how it is possible ki gn is smaller than fn this is i need to read like that gn is smaller than fn no this is false that's why it will be false gn is not smaller than fn right that's why this will be false okay clear clear acha can i say that now can i say this one that gn is big o of fn is it true or false gn is big o of fn is it true or false this one gn is big o of fn can i say can i say that gn is big o of fn this is very very important concept very very important concept is it true or false good very good this is false because here it is telling that fn is greater than gn is it true no fn is not greater than gn but can i say that gn is omega of fn is this correct gn is omega of fn is this correct is this true or false gn is omega of fn is it true or false gn is omega of fn is it true or false yes this is true this is true this is true because fn is smaller than gn yes fn is smaller than gn that is true so it's clear clear to everyone no doubt i hope i hope there is no doubt no doubt yes good very good very good as so a now if i am telling that fn equals to n square and gn equals to 2 to the power n and h n equals to n cube this is given to you now tell me can i say that fn equals to order of gn is it true or false fn equals to order of gn is it true or false is this true or false this is true definitely this is true right true this is true definitely this is true can i say that hn hn equals to big o of gn can i say that hn equals to big o of gn hn equals to big o of gn yes that is also true this is also true even also i can say that fn equals to big o of hn this is also true so i hope it is clear now you can do all the question now you can do all the question okay so chalo now we will do the master theorem this is the very very important topic master theorem from where always one questions are coming always one questions are coming from here master theorem next topic so master theorem how to do always remember master theorem it is in this format first of all format should be clear ki tn equals to a tn by b plus fn tn equals to 
a t n by b plus f n now we will do g n all of you those who don't know write down this if you are writing now now only your master theorem will be 100% clear those who don't know write down this and i will ask you some question after that master theorem will be 100% clear to you and your two marks will be confirmed two marks will be confirmed i can tell you it will be confirmed to you okay so quickly quickly write down it quickly write it down so here what to do gn equals to n to the power log a base b n to the power log a base b after that we are checking between fn and gn it is easy one for the first two rule which one is greater that is the answer if fn is greater then fn is the answer if gn is greater then gn is the answer okay yes what is your question nila tell me your question if both are same fn and gn both are same then your answer will be order of gn log n then your answer will be order of gn log n actually we should write it theta we should not write it gn it should be theta okay it should be theta okay is it done can we go for the question is it done can we go for the question done done tell me tell me done 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 yes cholo cholo so do this question quickly and for doing this question this this uh, formula is very very important that is log a to the power n a log a to the power n always we are doing like that n log a this will be very much important to solve the master theorem question always we will use this one n log a it will be n log a this formula will be very very important for you and another important formula is log x bx x equals to always one means log 2 base 2 log 3 base t 3 will be always one our target will be to make it one always this is this will be also required and log 1 log 1 is zero where that is that is also required the log 1 is zero okay theek hai chalo chalo now now the next one now we will go for the next one 3t n by 2 plus n as i will come to you nila i will come to your question so do this question here these are the roots these are very very important how to do log n log a this these are this are ultimately required this is the first one this is second one and this is third one and another one i told already that this one these are very very important to solve this type of question in and the power 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square 5 square because i have we have to solve in this way now tell me first question is this one tn equals to 3t n by 2 plus n square nila is asking that 3t n by 2 plus n and this question is 3t n by 2 plus n square that was he was asking nila you are asking this one do it do it what will be the answer for this one 3t n by 2 plus n square how to do it how to do it what will be the answer okay swati is giving answer swati is giving answer i can see so how to do see that what i told you have to do gn gn equals to n to the power log a base b what is a what is b 
log 3 base 2 that is given here now see that now how to compare i have to compare with n square n square is what that is your fn fn is n square now see that what to do actually actually what will be happen log 2 base 2 is 1 okay and log 4 base 4 is also 1 now if i am doing this log 3 base 2 but it will be it will be 1 point something it will be 1 point something because if i am doing log 3 base 3 that is also 1 but it is log 3 base 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 so log 3 base 2 will be what 1 point something it will be definitely less than 2 definitely it will be less than 2 that's why we can say that it will be n to the power 1 point something it will be n to the power 1 point something so it is n square definitely this one will be less than n square as it is less than n square that's why we can say the answer the answer will be theta of n square because which one is greater that one is your answer here you can see fn is definitely greater than gn that's why your answer will be n square how to do it is it clear is this clear because your answer will be this one key log it is coming log this one so one point something so it will be one point something so it is less than got it got it clear why it is n square why it is n square is it clear okay now do this one option question number two question number two in same way you can do this question number two okay okay now do this one question number two how what will be the answer quickly 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 do it we have to so many things so many things we have to do again 7 pm is a live class also today 7 pm also there is the marathon in the 7 pm marathon i am giving the link also and uh, notify me click on notify me 7 pm we are going to do marathon for computer science all important topic of computer science okay so here answer is coming from swati what about others what about others what will be the answer okay answer is coming so what is gn gn equals to same way we have to do n to the power log a is 4 b is 2 so log 4 base 2 log 4 base 2 means we can do it log 2 square base 2 log 2 square base 2 means what i told log a to the power n base a we can write n log a base a like this way so what i can do it is n square log 2 base 2 this 2 will come here that is i can do so that's why what it is log 2 base 2 is 1 because log a base a is always 1 that's why i can do this one is 1 means this one is n square this one is n square now you can see this is n square and this is also n square when both are same it is actually what gn and fn both are same gn and fn both are same means what we can do here gn and fn both are same means it is actually the third rule according to the third rule we have to do gn log n so what was your value of gn your value of gn was n square so it will be n square log n we can do the answer it will be n square log n because gn is also n square fn is also n square so your answer will be n square log n clear clear to everyone so you can solve it same way you can do it by yourself now do this one 16 t n by 4 plus n what will be the answer 16 t n by 4 plus n what will be the answer quickly do this one 16 t n by 4 plus n yehi to shortcut hai isse acha kya shortcut hoga ramaya yehi to ek sabse bada shortcut hai usse acha aur koi shortcut nahi hai 
ये तो सबसे बड़ा शॉर्टकट है जी को निकालो जी से एफ को कंपेयर करो जो भी ग्रेटर है वो आंसर है वो आंसर है जी को सॉल्व करो जी एन जी एन और एफ एन कंपेयर करो जो भी ग्रेटर है वो आंसर है नहीं तो क्या है कि जी एन लॉग इन यही है आंसर बस और कुछ नहीं ओके ओके सो आंसर आर कमिंग हियर आई कैन सी दैट यस व्हाट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस वन हाउ आई कैन डू इट हियर द जी एन इज कमिंग बट एन टू दावर लॉग सिक्सटीन बेस फोर log 16 base 4 means n to the power log 4 square by 4 that is we can do right 16 square means i can do it it is log 4 square by 4 so what it will be n to the power 2 log 4 base 4 that is we can do n to the power log 4 base 4 log square 4 base 4 i can do it so again it is n square this is coming what n square so which one is greater than n is greater or n square is greater n is greater or n square is greater definitely n square is greater so your answer will be theta of n square theta of n square right theek hai theek hai theta of n square hoga bas kar lo easy feasy lemon squeezy is it easy feasy is this easy or not like this way only questions are coming n square n square right right so i am showing you the question now previous year's question see see one previous year's question i am going to tell you the previous year's question see this is a previous year's question what will be the answer what will be the answer for this one do the answer tn equals to 8 tn by 2 plus cn okay so answers are coming here yes everyone is giving the correct answer very good because what will be your gn gn will be n to the power log a base b so n to the power log a means 8 log a is 8 b is what 2 so i can do n to the power log log 2 cube by 2 so it is n cube then log 2 base 2 that is 1 so definitely n cube is here and this is cn which one is greater n cube is greater so answer will be n cube simple easy question right super easy super easy question yes now do this one do this one this is the 2022 question you can see just just last exam 2022 question they are asking like this why this is type of easy question only you will get don't worry it is super easy this is also you can do it Okay, answers are coming here. What will be the answer? Do it, do it. Priti is telling answer. What about others? Why others are not answering? Acha, Priti, Swati, answers are coming now. Answers are coming now. Most of you are giving the answer four, 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 four. But answer to not four. Most of you are telling answer four. answer four acha tell me check let me check why you are telling answer four here what will be the value of gn gn value is n to the power log 3 base 4 n to the power log 3 base 4 that is the value right right 
सो हेयर टेल मी लॉग थ्री बेस थ्री इज वन लॉग फोर बेस फोर इज वन इफ इट इज लॉग थ्री बेस फोर ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर वन थिंग वेन द बेस आर कमिंग सेम देन इट इज वन वेन द बेस इज ग्रेटर देन वेन द बेस इज ग्रेटर देन समथिंग देन इट विल बी लेस देन वन राइट येस देन द देन द बेस विल बी लेस देन इट विल बी लेस देन राइट सो वट इट विल बी इट विल बी एन टू दी पावर जीरो पॉइंट समथिंग इट विल बी एन टू दी पावर जीरो पॉइंट समथिंग जीरो पॉइंट समथिंग इट विल बी नॉट एक्चुअली एन ऑल्सो सो इट इज लेस देन एन इट इज एक्चुअली द लेस देन एन एंड योर दिस दिस इज एन लॉग एन सो विच वन इज ग्रेटर इट इज लेस देन एन वैल्यू एंड दिस इज एन लॉग एन सो विच वन इज ग्रेटर एन लॉग एन इज ग्रेटर सो योर आंसर विल बी एन लॉग एन दिस इज द इजी वन वेन एवर यू आर डूइंग लॉग इट इज योर समथिंग एंड इट इज योर बेस ओके so when a is less than the base the a is less than the base then your answer will be also less than 1 when the a is greater than the base then your answer will be greater than 1 is it or not here you can see your a is less than the base also 2 base 2 is 1 3 base 3 is 1 but it is 3 base 4 3 base 4 means it will be less than 1 so your value will be less than 1 means 0 point something maybe 0.5 0.6 something right so that's why your answer will be b those who are doing d they are wrong got it got it why why it is why it is the answer is it clear b very careful otherwise you will do this type of mistake okay okay chalo chalo now do this one after that we will do the ex extended master theorem also we have to do because some of the question you will be not able to solve using this master theorem there you have to apply extended master theorem do this one after that i am going to the extended master theorem read it and tell me what is the correct answer do it Okay, answers are coming here. Yes, option A is the correct answer. All of you are correct. Very good. It's here. It is big, big O, big O, big O means that is worst case. Big O is the worst case definitely. So it's the worst case running complexity big O and the best case running complexity is omega. That is correct because here it is given worst case. It is worst case is omega. No, best case is big O. That is wrong. here it is given that big o and omega both are same then it will be theta that is that is theta so that's why it is wrong here also it is intersection non empty like this type is not there so this is also wrong so option a is the correct answer so that's why your option a is correct we did this one already now you can see here this is a question uh, do this one do this one 2t n by 4 n to the power half what will be the answer 2t n by 4 n to the power half answer answer okay answers are coming yes good very good very good c is the correct answer very good because what it is it is actually 2t n by 4 plus root t n to the power half means that is root n right so here what will be your gn gn will be also n to the power log 2 base 4 log 2 base 4 means this is also what i can do 
this is also actually root n right log 2 base 4 means this is also actually root n so here you can see this is also n to the power half this is also n to the power half that's why it will be the third rule third rule is g n log n third rule is g n log n so g n is n to the power half log n so your answer will be n to the power half log n got it Asphia, your answer is wrong b is not the correct answer c is the correct answer because it is two just half right this is two this is four be careful about the log value log two base four log two base four means it is also n to the power half that is also root 10 so both are same means we can do it is n to the power half log n right right clear clear to everyone yes yes chalo so now here it is the extended master theorem write down it write down the extended master theorem you need to uh, just you can understand see that no need to convert without converting you can see that this is just half right this is the just half this is two and it is half base is half so you can do it directly no need to convert you can do it directly we know that key yes it will be half half means i we can do it it will be the half only okay or we can write like this way key i can if you are doing like this then we can write like this way this way also we can write key it is 4 to the power half base 4 like this way we can do if you are right try to write then we can do 4 to the power half means means this is actually same right 2 means it is what root 4 root 4 means i can do 4 to the power half so then it is coming log to the power log 4 to the power half means i can write it it is half then 1 log 4 base 4 got it base i cannot change base i cannot change but i can change like this way is it clear Leah, nila why i am doing 4 to the power half base you cannot change but this one i can do 4 to the power half okay so 4 to the power half means it is half log fair both 4 base 4 that is 1 so it will be half in this way you can convert here only the game is with the log how you are able to change the log always our target will be can i get the format of log a base a if i am getting the format then quickly we can do it right that is our target so in this way you can do it okay yes so here the extended master theorem whenever we are doing write down this extended master theorem because when we are not able to apply normal theorem your fn part will be in this format how the format like log n square log square n like this way or maybe n divide by log square n log cube n like this type of format whenever it is coming then you will be not able to apply the normal master theorem normal master theorem you will be not able to apply then you have to apply this master theorem and you need to memorize this th three rule only simple three rules are there there is a trick also to remember what is the trick here it is what k n to the power d log k log to the power k it is not k here it is log to the power k okay so log to the power k we will check the k k value is to the power 0 if the k value is to the power 0 or greater than 0 then it will be n to the power d log k plus 1 n n to the power d log k plus 1 n if it is k equals to minus 1 then it will be n to the power d log log n if it is k less than 1 then it will be just like n to the power log a base b all of you write it down when i will ask you question then it will be very easy for you write down this three rule write it down i will ask you question it will be very easy for you also it you will be also able to do it write down it write down this three rule this is very very important two marks is confirmed from here two marks is confirmed
is it done writing is done those who are watching if till now you are not clicking on like button i am feeling bad you can click on dislike button if you don't don't like this class then you can click on dislike button or if you did not subscribe then how you will be able to connect with me try to subscribe maybe you forgot to subscribe maybe you forgot to click on like button if you really did not like it you can dislike you can click on dislike also okay so is it done done okay okay so chalo so here you can see this question this is the question this is also a previous year's question 2t n by 2 log by log divide by n divide by log n how to do n divide by log n how to do it do this question do this question do it after that i will ask you some more question so that your this part will be cover complete after that we will go for the next type of question means uh, we will go for searching shorting algorithm answer answer do the answer आंसर करो आंसर करो एंड एक्सटेंडेड मास्टर थ्योरम क्वेश्चन आई एम सर्चिंग लिटिल बिट डू द आंसर ओके आंसर सर कमिंग ओके आंसर सर कमिंग ओके so option 3 is the correct answer what to do here here just you need to check the format what was the format this is n to the power d log to the power k n right n to the power d log to the power k n that was the format before that to it was same that is a t n by b plus this one so now you can tell me what is the value of k here you can write down this one it is actually n to the power 1 log to the power minus 1 n is it or not it is log to the power minus 1 because log value is lower side means it is log to the power minus 1 so your k value is minus 1 when k value is minus 1 what rule we should apply k value is minus 1 means we can apply n to the power d log log n that is we can apply what is the value of d d value is 1 so n to the power d log log n means it is what n to the power 1 log log n right so your answer is this one n log log n that's why your answer is this one clear 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 let me ask you some more question that is i am searching where i wrote the more question just give me one minute I am searching those question. Hmm hmm hmm. Now do this. Yes, got it clear. Very good. Acha now tell me that if I am asking you t equals to two t n by two plus n to the power seven divided by log square n. What to do? What to do? k is minus 1 because here log is you should write it like this way it is 2t n by 2 plus n to the power 1 log to the power minus 1 n because log is lower side means what it is minus 1 right something we are writing here it is n square but we will write this is n to the power minus 2 is it or not whenever it is coming in lower side that is actually minus so that's why it is log to the power minus 1 so what is the k value k value is minus 1 it is n to the power d log to the power k n so k 
के वैल्यू इज माइनस वन डी वैल्यू इज वन ओके घट इट अच्छा नाउ डू दिस वन डू दिस वन टू टी एन बाय टू प्लस एन टू दी पावर सेवन लॉग स्क्वायर एन व्हाट विल बी द आंसर just you need to find out the k value d value yes you can find out the d value what is the value of d here to d value is 1 n to the power 1 it is n to the power 1 right previously it was previous one it i am going to i am i was telling this one lakshmi was asking this one that's why okay answers are coming here answers are coming how we can do it this is n to the power 2 plus n to the power 7 log to the power minus 2n log to the power minus 2n so what is the value of k k is minus 2 so which rule i can apply here k is minus 2 means the third rule third rule k is less than minus 1 this is minus 2 means the third rule that is theta theta n to the power log a base b so we will go for theta n to the power log a base b so it is theta n to the power log a base b means 2 base 2 that is n so your answer will be theta n right because a value is also 2 b value is also 2 that's why your answer will be this one thasin no no thasin it is k less than 2 means you need to apply k less or equal less than 1 you need to apply this it is k less than 1 right so k less than 1 it is log square log square log square in log square main means it is log to the power minus 2 minus 2 means k value is less than 1 right clear 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 to everyone how to do this type of question i hope it's clear you can do it now yes yes very good very good so your master theorem your master theorem is done chalo so after the master theorem now we are going to do the next type of question the next type of question is acha this question also this is also one type of question i am showing you how to solve uh, these are the type of question you can see 4t root n they are asking sometime 2t root n plus log n or they can ask you like that ki 8t root n plus log cube n this is a common format this type of question is a common format either they are asking like this way or they are asking like this way two times they repeat this format of question two times two times this format is repeated can you tell me the answer what will be the answer can you tell me the answer for this one after that i will tell you how to do it try it try it once after that i will tell you what to do 4t root n plus log square n how to do it yes chandrika lakshmi they are answering yes because they know that because they did already today morning also we did it right so those who are the paid learner they did it that's why they are doing it yes very good so how to do it i am telling you there is a process of doing that process you need to follow so all types of question you can do either 2t root n log n 4t root n log square n either or it can be given like that 6t root n plus log to the power 4n this is a format same format question you can do in this same pattern same pattern you need to follow what is that pattern i am telling you the pattern try to understand practice it and you can do it so the pattern is like that tn equals to 4t root n 
plus log square n okay i cannot apply here master theorem so i need to change it in a format of master theorem so that i can do it so what i will do here this is n to the power half plus log square n right so i will try to take some value like that ki let n equals to 2 to the power k if i am trying to do it n equals to 2 to the power k so then what will be n to the power half equals to 2 to the power k by 2 that i can do so that's why now what will be happen here i can write this one as t 2 to the power k equals to 4 t t 2 to the power k equals to i can write here 4 t what i did that is n to the power half equals to 2 to the power k by 2 so 4 t 2 to the power k by 2 that i can write now log a log square n what i can do i can take log both side if i am taking here log both side then what will be happen that is log n to the power half equals to log 2 to the power k by 2 that will be happen here if i am taking or i am taking in here only i am taking the log both sides so that half there will be no problem i am taking log both side here okay with this one i am taking log both side with this one so it will be log n equals to log 2 to the power k so what it is i can write it log n equals to k log 2 base 2 so k log 2 base 2 means what 1 so means actually log n equals to k can i do it can i do it or not so i can get here log n equals to k see that i am getting here log n equals to k so as log n equals to k so log square n equals to k square I can do it log square n equals to k square that is we can do so now you saw that you got a format this is a format now again we will do an another thing that is we will try to do t we will try to do it ki t 2 to the power k equals to a s k t 2 to the power k equals to a s k if i am writing this one a s k then it will be t 2 to the power k by 2 means i can write it is 4 s k by 2 that is i can write because why ma'am why ma'am you can see that t if i am writing like that t 2 to the power k by 1 i am writing like s k by 1 that is actually s k so same way i can do it k t 2 to the power k by 2 equals to i can write s k by 2 that's why we wrote here this is s k by 2 because i am why i am doing it i am trying to make the format of master theorem that is our target now this is k square now you saw is it a master theorem format or not this is the purely master theorem format s k equals to 4 s k by 2 plus k square now easily you can apply the master theorem what is the value of g k g k is k to the power log 4 base 2 log 4 base 2 means it is actually k square are you getting this one k square so as it is k square means you can see this is also k square this is also k square so as per the third rule what i can do that is i can write theta k square log k theta k square log k i can write it as per the third rule we are applying here the master theorem third rule after that what will be happen k square means k means i already got log n 
K means here I got login already. K equals to login which is hiding behind me. You can see this. K equals to login. Right we got it. K equals to login. So what will be the final answer? K square equals to log square in So, what we can do here? K equals to log square n I can do. So, that's why here I can do that log square in the log square. Here I can do log square in log log in. So, finally your answer is coming. Log square in log log in. Got it? Clear? Clear? This is the way you need to solve all this type of question. All this type of question you need to solve this way. Is it clear to everyone? Clear? 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 Pakka clear? Tell me. I hope it's clear to everyone now yes so in this way you need to solve it okay oh, yes chalo so now we will go for the next topic okay now we will go for the next topic the next topic is the searching algorithm so how many types of searching algorithms are there there are mainly two types of searching algorithm one is linear search one is linear search another is binary search right linear search is what is going on in linear search linear search is searching it one by one it will search the complete array in the array it is searching one by one it is searching that is called linear search binary search how it is doing binary search is working like that way it is a approach of divide and conquer binary search is applying the concept of divide and conquer binary search will be always you can apply the binary search when array is in ascending order if the array is in ascending order then only you can apply binary search otherwise you cannot apply right but linear search if it is not shorted then also you can do it in an unshorted array, not in ascending order, in any order you can apply because one by one we are searching it. That's why it is linear search. Binary search whenever we are doing like this type of content 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is in shorted order. So maybe I need to search 7. My key is, what is my key? Key is 7. So what we are doing here, first of all we are trying to take the mid. What is my mid value? How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 elements are there. I will take a mid value. Mid value either I can take 4 or I can take 5 also. Because it is not a even number. So as it is not a odd number, I am taking mid 1 as 4 or 4 plus 1. So I am taking this one as mid. If I am taking this one at mid, we are comparing with our, so what is our mid element? 4. 4 is our mid element. I am getting it in the mid position. Now we are comparing with key. The key is greater than mid. If the key is greater than mid, then we will search in this part and we will discard the other part. This part we will not do any more work. There is no work in the next part. Because yes here here we are not doing any work because this part is not uh, my key element is the greater than that's why i will go for this one and again we will make a half so again whenever we are make a half we it is four elements are there so mid element i am taking this one we are comparing mid element is my key element my key element is seven it is not my key element 
again i can see key element is greater than the mid element because key element is 7 mid element is 6 so what i will do i will discard this next this part also till this part i will discard i will go for the next part in the next part again i will do the what is my mid element i will try to find out and here i will get this one is my mid element and finally it is matching with the mid element and then i will get the answer then i will get the answer right this is the working mechanism of binary search always we are doing half and half one half we are not working and another half we are working again we are trying to find out the mid element and from the mid element again we will try to search if the mid element is equal to key element then i will give it key as mid element is my key element i will answer otherwise i will check it is it less than if it is less than i will go to left hand side if it is greater than then i will go for right hand side right simple one so that's why what is the time complexity here always we are working on the half of the part always we are working on the half of the part that's why here the time complexity is coming log n here your linear search time complexity is order of n but binary search time complexity is log n right yes clear clear can i ask question i hope in binary search everyone there is no doubt can you tell me the recurrence relation of binary search can anyone tell me the recurrence relation of binary search how actually the binary search is working can anyone tell me can anyone tell me that how actually the binary search working time complexity to yes time complexity is this one but how actually it is working how to do the time complexity do you know because recurrence relation is also important recurrence relation is also important do you know that how to do the time complexity we can apply binary search on linked list in linked list we can apply no here slide show i am doing here so what it is how to do the time complexity i am telling you just now we learn the um, uh, master theorem format right so how it is working t n equals to a t t n equals to a t n by b plus f n right so what is this a this a is number of sub problem and what is this n by b this n by b total it is the size of sub problem okay number of sub problem and size of the sub problem it is binary search whenever we are applying binary search is divide and conquer method it is applying the divide and conquer method that's why tell me how many sub problems we are taking number of sub problem in binary search how many sub problem we are working at a time what is the value of a every time there is the total array in the array we are dividing into two part and we are working in one part in another part we are not working is it or not is it or not another part we are not working that's why a value is one a value is one so that's why number of sub problem is one one t after that what is the value of n by b size of the sub problem is always half size of the sub problem is always half totally b value not it is n by b total that's why it will be n by 2 plus it is time to conquer it is time to combine there is no combined part because in binary search we are not doing any combining 
so that's why there is no combining part that's why we can write it's constant we can write this one is constant now from here using master theorem actually your uh, complexity will come because what it is gn equals to n to the power log 1 base 2 that is coming here yes gn equals to log 1 base 2 log 1 base 2 means what log 1 is 0 that is n to the power 0 n to the power 0 is 1 so it is also 1 it is also 1 gn is also 1 fn is also 1 constant means we can write 1 constant is 1 so gn is also 1 fn is also 1 means according to the third rule we can write is gn log n right gn is 1 means it is 1 log n that's why your complexity is log n till now you are memorizing right till now most of you memorize it ki okay binary search is log n but it was not clear to you why it was log n how log n is coming because of this in this way actually it is log n algorithm most of the students are learning algorithm by means by memorizing it you are trying to memorize it but memorizing is not a good way don't go for memorization try to understand it try to understand understanding is very very important how it is coming log in in this way it is coming log in because question can be asked you the recurrence relation also what is the recurrence relation of the binary search then how you will do it recurrence relation of binary search is this one this is the recurrence relation we can write the recurrence relation like that t n by 2 plus c it is the recurrence relation of binary search clear is it clear to everyone why it is and how it is coming yes whenever you are learning with me we will go for the in-depth concept always i am going to the in-depth concept so that everyone answer concept should be clear okay chalo now let's solve a question i will ask you a question now to do the question do a question i am going to ask you Do this one. Do this one. Given an arrow, given an array, this is an array given to you. The key element is this one. How many iterations done until the element is found in binary search? Do it. Here only I am taking everyday class. You can follow the classes everyday here. Here I am doing the class. And 7 p.m. also I am taking the free class. Be connected with our telegram channel. Be connected with our telegram channel. And my contact number is 8697365460. This is my contact number. You can WhatsApp me. Okay. 8697365460 you can whatsapp me Chalo. okay answers are coming here answers are coming here so yes answer will be option 4 option 4 how many iterations are they there so two iterations will be there because how what it is because definitely here is 5 6 77 88 and 99 our target was 88 that was our target so in first iteration i will try to find out the mid my mid element is getting 77 now 88 is greater than 77 so i will go for this way i will not do this one 
next iteration i will get this mid element like this one so next iteration i am getting mid element 80 and it is exactly my key element and algorithm will stop so that's why how many iteration two iterations are there right this is the two iteration okay yes this is my whatsapp number please don't call me whatsapp me please whatever your concern you can whatsapp me okay yes yes so here the question is clear i hope yes for the concept we play the game also in my in our paid course for binary search you remember that that's good so now uh, do another question do this one do this one what will be the answer for this one telegram link please telegram link i am giving and this is the telegram link all of you can join the telegram channel here ultimately you will get all the update here i am sending all the update so you can get all the updates here okay answers are coming okay answers are coming yes so option 5 is the correct answer because it is given here 31 number consisting sequence zeros followed by some sequence of one so your number is like that so many zeros after that so many ones and all but it cannot be mixed like that ki 0 1 0 1 0 like that it is not possible because it is given that ki zeros followed by one whenever one started then after that zero cannot come from this one it is clear now the problem to find the smallest index of i of one that is i need to find out the first one my target is to find out the first one so it is ultimately a ascending order shorted array here which apply which app which searching algorithm i can apply i can apply binary search binary search i can apply and how many elements are there 31 elements are there so i will do log 31 log 31 means it is near about value 5 because 2 to the power 5 is 32 2 to the power 5 is 32 here it is given 31 so nearby value i will take that is 5 only because log 32 is 5 right so that's why your answer will be 5 why it is is it clear these are the types of question but they will ask you so that's why your answer is 5 clear to everyone clear clear why it is 5 and how to solve this is the way you need to solve from the question you need to understand it yes you need to understand it what is going on here yes binary search we are applying here as so now quickly let's do the understanding for all types of shorting algorithm all the shorting algorithm we will do now selection short insertion short bubble short quick short march short these are the very important five algorithm i am going to explain you all the five algorithm in one class so this is going to be the first class in unify study but when i am going to take the all algorithm this is the first class on unify study when i am taking the algorithm right yes yes chalo so here what to do here selection short selection short how it is working all of you remember the steps because nowadays it is the pattern they are asking steps of the algorithm they are asking the steps of the algorithm so please concentrate everyone please don't ask me to repeat because everything if i am repeating i am also a human being i cannot talk that much 
ओके सो प्लीज एवरी वन इट इज माई रिक्वेस्ट हाथ जोड़ के रिक्वेस्ट कर रही हूँ सबको प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट आई कैन नॉट टॉक दैट मच दैट एवरी थिंग आई कैन रिपीट 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 देन आई विल देन माई वॉयस विल बी ओवर देन आई विल बी नॉट एबल टू टॉक ओके सो प्लीज एवरी वन कॉन्सेंट्रेट इफ यू आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी थिंग आई विल टीच यू इन ए इजी वे योर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज 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 कॉन्सेंट्रेट प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी थिंग ओके एवरी वन पक्का यू विल कॉन्सेंट्रेट All sorting algorithm. If you did not learn also previously, then also it will be clear to you. If you did not learn also previously, okay, then also, then also it will be clear to you. ठीक है, ठीक है, okay. Everyone concentrate here. चलो. So we will do this all algorithm. Very very important. The steps are important because if you don't know the steps. If you don't know the steps, then your answer will be then you cannot do because nowadays question are not like that. They will ask you directly complexity. They are not asking. They will ask you some indirect question. So if you don't know the concept, you cannot do it. Okay? Yes. Chalo. So everyone see that. What is selection sort? Selection sort means selecting. Selection sort is selecting the element. and it is taking the first element as minimum always it is taking the first element at minimum okay okay yes so what will be this one i am taking this one as minimum this one i am taking as minimum 20 so first time i am taking minimum as 20 the first element is minimum okay so after that what i will do here the select the smallest element from the unsorted list in each iteration and place the element at the beginning of unsorted list what is the meaning ultimately there is only one array okay only one array virtually we are thinking like that ki this is my sh sorted part and this is my unsorted part and one by one we are going forward and we are trying to think it ki okay i will solve one by one i am trying to sort it okay it is a in place algorithm here is the concept of in place or not this is a in place algorithm why it is a in place algorithm because here we are not taking any extra array okay here we will not take any extra array ठीक है, so what we will do here, twenty is my minimum one, okay? Now we will start comparison. How the comparison will be start? Twenty will compare with twelve. Twenty is comparing with twelve. Is it less than or greater than? It is less than or greater than. That we will do. Compare the minimum with the second minimum. if the second element is the smallest smaller than the minimum assign the second one as the minimum one simple one previously here your minimum was 20 now you started here ki your minimum was 20 now you are comparing that 12 is less than 20 yes 12 is less than 20 you will update it as 12 now 12 is your minimum now what you are doing that 12 is less than 10 is less than 12 10 is less than 12 yes so that's why you will update it to 10 now 10 is your minimum okay now you are comparing that 15 is less than 10 no 15 is not less than 10 no need to update now you are comparing 2 is less than 10 yes so you are updating it to 2 so your element 2 so you are getting the smallest element that is 2 you got it yes so the minimum in the first iteration you got it this is 2 clear simple one clear it is i hope it is very clear to everyone simple one yes 
yes yes good good now see now what we will do now we are swapping now we are swapping just the last one but i get the last one the last one is 2 this one will be swap with the fast position we are doing the swapping with the fast position so 2 will be swapped here 2 and t will be here now this is your shorted part and this is your unshorted part got it now this is your shorted part this is your unshorted part because 2 i already place it is my minimum element you got the smallest element already so it is your shortest it is your unsorted now you will start from here now the next iteration it is already shorted that's why here in this one i already got the shorted part now in the remaining part we will do the next iteration in the next iteration will be start from here got it second iteration will be start from here in the next element same way we will do here minimum is my 12 so 12 is 10 is less than 12 yes it is updated to 10 that's why 10 after that 15 is less than 10 no no updation after that finally you will compare 20 is less than 10 no no updation so no updation here finally you are doing the swapping between this 10 and 12 you are doing the swapping and after swapping ultimately this part is shorted now this part is shorted this part is unshorted same way we will do it simple one clear same way we will continue again with the 12 so again it will be done and finally you are getting already in the correct place this is your final operation in this way same way we are continuing it and finally we are getting this result clear to everyone simple one this is selection short this is called the selection short and in selection short it is the way how it is going on this is your algorithm set the minimum at the location search the minimum element in the list swap the value at the location of mean increment the mean to the point to the next increment repeat until the last sorted here for loop we are using how many for loop we are using here two for loop we are using one is outer loop another is inner loop in the outer loop we are taking this one in the inner loop it is starting from j into i plus 1 as there are two loop that's why what will be the complexity always remember one thing for loop one loop means that is n when inner two for loop means that will be n square again another for loop means that will be n cube this is the simple thing so here you can do two for loop is going on here that's why your complexity is n square best case also n square worst case also n square average case also n square because of two for loop outer for loop and inner for loop always this is also working n times this is also working n times and that's why it will be n square and the complexities are very very important clear clear to everyone simple one yes okay hmm. now it is the programming and all you can uh, pause this video and you can do it so now insertion short how to do the insertion the difference are very very important between every short the difference are very very important so remember the difference what is going on insertion short is going on like that it is also in a unshorted element suitable place we are placing into the suitable place it was always coming to the first of the unshorted one but here i am trying to put in a suitable place like a card game suitable place of the correct one 
that is the place here so in such and sort works similarly like the card how the card game is playing on same way so we are taking the first card already sorted then select an unsorted card an unsorted card is greater than here this line is very very important if the unsorted card is greater than the card in the hand then it is placed to the right otherwise it will be placed to the left this is very important in insertion in selection sort always we are going through the total pass we are trying to find the minimum after that we are placing the minimum at the starting of the array but insertion sort is not doing it insertion sort is always comparing if it is less than then i will place it in the left if it is greater than then i will place it in the right and in the correct place not always in the starting i am trying to place it into the correct place that is the advantage of insertion algorithm so how it will work here also we will take that it is my sorted part and this is my unsorted part it is not taking as mean it will take this is the first element is always sorted and remaining element is unsorted first element first array will be sorted and second all as unsorted okay now how it is going on see that as i am taking this one ki it is my sorted part always i am taking that first element of the array assume to be sorted and take the second element as a key which one is my key second element is the is my key don't do mistake previously minimum was my first element from that we started but here we are thinking that this is already sorted and this is unsorted okay yes just like the playing card so we will start with 5 we are thinking this one is already sorted that's why we are starting with 5 so my key value is 5 okay now what i am doing i am checking that 5 is less than 9 because in the sorted array here is 9 5 is less than 9 yes 5 is less than 9 that's why i am going to place 5 left side of the line left hand side of the line that's why i place it left hand side of the line got it but we did i place it in the left hand side of the line i did not traverse the total array total array traversing is not here just we are comparing this both and we are then and there we are swapping it here the swapping is done and we are placing it now see that it is your sorted part now you are thinking that this is your sorted part this is your unsorted part okay got it now this is your sorted array this is your unsorted array now again we will do whenever we are doing now we are taking key like this one because i am thinking that yes this is already my sorted part and this is my unsorted part okay now what is happening i am taking key equals to 1 now i am comparing with 1 what i will compare that 1 this key is it less than of the last element but i am taking take the first two element are sorted take the third element and compare it with the element on the left of it i am comparing with the left of it so what is the left left is 9 so 1 is less than 9 1 is less than 9 yes i am comparing with left of it and place it just behind the element smaller than it i will place just it is behind the smaller than this one so i am what i am doing i will think about opposite way 9 is less than 1 9 is less than 1 no it is false that's why it will compare with 5 also 5 is less than 1 no 9 also not less than 1 5 also not less than 1 that's why 1 will be in the starting because ultimately 1 is less than 5 
so i will go to the left i will check one by one as every one is greater so i am placing one here got it i am placing one here now this complete one is shorted now this all the array is shorted now okay now you are getting this this part is already shorted this part is already shorted now as this part is shorted i will take key as 4 now the key is 4 okay got it now what i will do 9 is less than 4 no i will do next 5 is less than 4 no i will do next 1 is less than 4 yes 1 is less than 4 then and there i am going to place right hand side of 1 i am going to place my key that is 4 so i am going to place 4 right hand side of 1 got it this is the ultimate game unnecessarily traversing we are not doing unnecessarily comparison also we are not doing whenever i am getting the correct place i am going to place here because i already know this is my shorted array as it is my shorted array i can place it this is less than means i can place it so i place 4 here is this clear this is a main difference between the insertion shot and the selection shot is this clear to everyone yes yes or no okay okay yes clear 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 i hope so clear hmm. yes good same way now you will see that ki this is already my shorted one because till now already it was shorted right 1 4 5 this all are shorted and 9 is also shorted now this complete one is shorted now so already you got this one is already shorted now completely this one is shorted only this 3 is unshorted so i am taking the key equals to 3 now i am comparing 9 is less than 3 no 5 is less than 3 no 4 is less than 3 no 1 is less than 3 yes 1 is less than 3 that's why i will place 3 right side of 1 i am placing 3 right side of 1 so it is my correct place i can place it right clear so finally i got my shorted array so total shorted array i got it this is my total sorted array clear insertion shot is clear i hope so difference is clear to everyone what is going on here this is the simple thing going on very simple thing yes so that's why that's why you can see here at the whenever we are doing programming at the time of programming there is only one for loop here is only one for loop that is going on throughout the array and very carefully you can see this while condition this while condition is doing j greater or equals to 0 and array j greater than key if it is greater than key then only we are continuing otherwise we are not continuing i was doing in opposite way ki it is less than opposite way we can think get up then ultimately program we can write as per our choice but concept is this one Okay, I am trying to find out that element which one is less than my element. So we are continuing. If it is greater than, then the while loop will continue. Otherwise, not. So as it is a while condition, unnecessarily checking is not going on here. 
unnecessarily always for loop will be working that will be not there and that's why here if it is already shorted one if the array is already shorted one like this one if the array is like this maybe 1 2 3 4 5 if it is already shorted one this while loop will not execute it will not execute right only the for loop will execute for loop will execute n times that's why your best case will be order of n because of there is one for loop and inside there is one while loop while loop is executing if only the key is less the key we are comparing if the next element is actually greater than the key then only we are comparing other than we are not doing it so in the best case i will do i will not execute the while loop only the for loop will be executed that's why it will be order of n and worst case will be n square average case will be n square but best case is order of n and that is the difference between selection short and the insertion short clear yes thasin this is the complexity best case is order of n but worst case is n square worst case is n square best case is order of n clear clear to everyone yes i hope it is clear pakka clear chalo so you got it this is the n square that's why it do it will be your n square yes so now can we do bubble short so bubble short how it is working bubble short is working just like a bubble that's why it is called the bubble bubble short means here the bubble short is working two adjacent element and swap them until they are not intended order just two adjacent element swapping is going on here just like the movement of air bubble in water that's why it is called the bubble short and the steps of the bubble short is it is in ascending order we will do the first iteration every iteration comparison is going on and in every iteration last element will be in the correct place so what we are doing 2 is comparing with 45 minus 2 is it greater than 45 no no swapping now first time bubble was here now the bubble is here so now 45 is greater than 0 yes greater than 0 yes that's why do the swapping it is true that's why do the swapping now bubble is again here so again it is doing 45 is greater than 11 yes so do the swapping again bubble is here after that again 45 is greater than minus 9 yes so that's why do the swapping again finally 45 is here so in bubble short after every iteration after completion of every iteration ultimately the largest element will be in the correct place that is the thing going on in bubble short ultimately the largest element is coming to the correct place and now you can think this element is already in correct place so we will do with the remaining element got it same way same comparison will be going on again this is my bubble it will doing on minus 2 is greater than 0 no no swapping now the bubble is here 0 is greater than 11 no no swapping now the bubble is here 11 is greater than minus 9 yes that's why do the swapping 11 is here now after that it is already shorted now it will stop because this part is already done so it will stop okay so n minus 1 i did it after that same way it will be going on same way this comparison will be going on and finally after the comparison 
you are getting the final answer that is the bubble shot clear i hope it is clear clear to everyone how the bubble shot is going on yes so that's why here what is going on the unnecessarily when there is the bubble shot here is the for loop this for loop is also working n times another for loop is also working n times although it is a shorted one if i am taking it is a shorted one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it is a shorted array then also there is no checking like that there is no checking always this loop is also working this loop is also working that is a problem of bubble shot because we are not checking anywhere ki swapping is done or not and that's why here the complexity is coming n square two times for loop is going on so that's why it is the complexity n square now how we can improve it we can improve it by doing this one by taking a flag here what the flag will do flag will do that inside whenever this comparison is going on like in this array if i am taking a shorted array already 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 if i am taking the shorted array after the first pass if there is no swapping there is not a single swapping done means it will understand it is already sorted then it will set a flag and after that it will break that is a optimized version of bubble shot here in the bubble shot here we are checking that if this one greater than then we are doing it and we are doing flag equals to 1 means at least one time swapping is done means flag equals to 1 if any one time swapping is not done inside this for loop then i will do the break here any one time it is not coming means it is already shorted no need to continue this loop again you can break here and that's why we can optimize it the optimized version of bubble shot is working like this way and we can optimize it to order of n got it how we can are you what happened so that is a optimized version in the optimized version if i am using this flag then using this flag my optimized version will be order of n otherwise in normal version your complexity is in bubble shot normal version will be order of n square don't do the mistake normal version will be order of n square it will be the best case of optimized version if i am optimizing using flag then only i can get order of n otherwise this will be order of n square okay clear these are very very important you need to remember it is this clear to everyone yes yes or no can i ask you question because all the three shorting algorithm is done now before going to the remaining shorting i can ask you some question can i ask you some question now can i ask you some question now do the question you will not give me permission do this question do it and do this one and do it do it Okay. 
ओके यस ऑल ऑफ यू आर टेलिंग आंसर बी इज इट आंसर बी वेयर वी आर यूजिंग लीनियर सर्च इज यूज परफॉर्मिंग सिंगल सर्च इन ए अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट वेन द लिस्ट हैज ओनली फ्यू एलिमेंट एंड परफॉर्मिंग इन ए सिंगल सीस्ट अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट डी इज हेयर चेक द डी विच वन इज मोर प्रेफरेबल आंसर परफॉर्मिंग इन ए सिंगल सर्च अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट इट इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट हेयर सिंगल सर्च अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट and only few elements is also there if there is a so many element then we will not go for it if there are so many element then it will be a hectic task you need to think it ki b is this one single search an order list here also single search an order list is there and extra point is there that is few element so it is combining both that's why you have to go for this one few element means it is very less number of element when there are more number of element because it is doing order of n you are searching everything so when there are so many element you will not go for linear search okay acha now do this one it is so very easy i will not ask you this one do this one do this one okay answers are coming yes when we are not applicable when it is an order list then we cannot apply because it should be search ascending order right now do this one do this one search it said divide and conquer yes this is already we did do this one do this one so and so okay when we will use the selection shot the large value needed to be shot with the small keys there are large value with the small keys then we will go for the selection shot selecting selecting a specific element the large values needed with to be shorted with a small key then only we will go for selection shot okay yes acha now do this one acha before doing this one let me ask you the shorting another question is there that is related to shorting only do this one do this one the number of swapping needed to short the number this in ascending order using bubble shot
tell me what will be the answer a b c d what is the answer do it think it try it and do it think it try it and do it tell me the answer Answers are coming, answers are coming, but 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 but. Okay, do do it, do it, solve it correctly. I am coming in one minute. Okay, answers are coming. So see that how to do it. See how to do it. I am telling you. So here you can see your array is like this. Eight, twenty-two, seven, nine, thirty-one, nineteen. 5 and 13 now in exam hall is it possible that you will perform the complete operation in exam hall is it possible that you will perform the complete operation after that you will do it that is definitely not possible right so how we will perform see that here it is working as a bubble right so for every element we will see that how many swapping are done for 8 you need to check it for 8 how many elements are less than 8 how many elements are less than 8 that is 7 and 5 just you will check for 8 how many elements are less than there we need to do the swapping right so for 8 there is 7 and 5 is less than so there will be two swapping two swapping will be done for 8 After that, next for twenty-two, for eight there will be two two swapping. Now for twenty-two, how many swapping? How many elements are less than twenty-two? How many elements are less than twenty-two? You can see that seven, 
नाइन इट वॉज तो थर्टी वन इट इज नॉट नाइनटीन फाइव एंड थर्टीन सो हाउ मेनी स्वैपिंग विल बी दे आर फाइव स्वैपिंग दैट्स वाई आफ्टर दैट हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर लेस दैन सेवन हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर लेस दैन सेवन इन दिस साइड यू हैव टू सी हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स only one element that is 5 5 so there is also only one swapping now after that for next element that is 9 for 9 how many swapping for 9 also there is only 5 so that's why also one swapping now for 3 31 For thirty-one, how many elements are less than? For thirty-one, how many elements are less than? You can see here, nineteen, five, and thirteen. In this side, you need to check in this side. So, nineteen, five, and thirty-one. Nineteen, five, and thirty-one. So there are three swapping. For five, is there any element? For five, there is no element. What is less than? No elements are there. For thirteen, how many elements? Is there any elements? For thirteen, no. So now just add these all. Now just add these all value. Two plus five plus one plus one plus three. Just add this all value and get the answer. Got it. Got it. It is the simple way, and this is a very important question. So many exam are asking this question from the shorty. So you can see five plus two is seven. Seven plus one is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here your answer is coming. Total fourteen, right? What I did five plus one plus three here two plus five plus one plus one plus three plus did I missed anything? Two plus five plus one plus three plus one plus something I missed. I missed it for nineteen. For nineteen, I missed. For nineteen, there will be five and three, five and thirteen. That is two two swapping are there. So this is the two swapping. For nineteen, I missed because we did eight, twenty-two, seven, nine, thirteen, nineteen. I missed here. Thirty-one. After that, the nineteen I missed. So for nineteen, there is two element. So these two elements are there. So five plus two, yes, nineteen. Nineteen I missed. Nineteen I missed. So for nineteen there is two plus five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So total is fourteen. So that's why your answer will be fourteen. Clear? This is the way you need to solve. Solve. Never go for the swapping algorithm. Why I will go for the total? Definitely, it's not possible in exam hall to do the total. Don't do it. Check it that in this way you need to check and you can solve the answer. Okay? Clear? Clear to everyone? Yes, I hope so. Chalo. So, can you share this to all of your friends? Till now, I can see. Forty-seven are watching. Are you feeling boring? Should I continue or not? If you are with me, for you I can continue. If you think that okay, no, no problem. So, क्या होगा? तो फिर क्या मैं बंद कर दूँ? When someone is coming to teach the difficult thing, then everyone is going. No, 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 no. Are you are you interested? Should I continue? Should I continue? Tell me yes or no. 
यस 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 चलो 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 वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अच्छा चलो वेरी गुड ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी इफ यू आर रेडी तो आई विल ऑल्सो रेडी डोंट वेरी आई एम ऑल्सो रेडी यू आर रेडी तो आई एम ऑल्सो रेडी सो वी विल डू द अच्छा आई एम टेकिंग सम पेजेस फॉर डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर बिकॉज वी नीड टू डू सम पेजेस हियर let me take some page okay okay i am here i am here interesting okay good very good if you are feeling interesting then i am with you don't worry because by by algorithm is very very important from algorithm you will get so many question so many questions will come here and the conceptual question are coming from here and if you are lucky enough bring the from the shorting also it will be yes this method only for bubble shot yes this is only for bubble shot you can apply every shot have different different method right bubble shot is this method you can apply this method for bubble shot okay now let's see first time concept getting clear that's very good very good so here we will do the divide and conquer in divide and conquer only one thing we already do do that is the binary search okay binary search so i already did now after that we will do more two algorithm that is merge sort and quick sort merge sort and quick sort both are applying that divide and conquer rule and merge sort and quick sort concept is very very important most of the students are not getting the concept of merge sort and quick sort because they are not able to understand so divide and conquer is applying this one ki breaking the problem sub problem and all that we already did in binary search so let's do the merge sort here now we will learn the merge sort algorithm how the merge sort is working and you need to concentrate everyone please i will give my full 100% effort you also have to put your 100% effort then only your concept will be clear 100% effort you need to put here okay so for understanding merge sort first of all you need to understand the merge algo for understanding merge sort you need to understand the merge algo how the merge algo is working because merge sort is taking an merge sort ha huh, merge sort is taking an total array after that it is dividing how it is going on ki it will be an array like this it will be an array total array this array it will start dividing it will start dividing into two part like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 elements are there 1 2 3 4 here also there will be 1 2 3 4 4 elements after that again it will divide into two part and here also it will be divided into two part again it will be divided into one one here also one one and one and one this way it will divide after dividing now it will start combining now it will start combining whenever it is combining at the time of combining it will apply the merge algorithm and this is the main algorithm of merge sort because i will divide that is too easy i will check the middle point and that from the middle point i will divide it into two part two part two part till when there is the one part i will divide it after dividing i need to merge at the time of merging only actually comparison will be going on and that's why merge sort understanding merge sort is very very important if you are merge merge algo merge sort not understanding merge algorithm is very very important if you are able to understand merge algo then merge sort will be easy for you so how it is going on merge algorithm merge algorithm i am telling taking two unsorted array i am taking two unsorted array here that is 4 9 10 and 15 another one is 2 6 11 and 18 
you can see this is also shorted this is also shorted right this both are shorted now i am trying to merge them in one array in one array i am trying to merge them now whenever i am merging how i can merge can i do it keep first element first together will be in one place and after that next one will be in another place then it will be shorted can i do it like this keep 4 9 10 15 then after that 2 6 11 18 then is it shorted can i do it like this can i do it definitely not right it is not shorted Although this part is shorted and this part is shorted but whenever I am trying to merge them if I am adding them together one by one then it will be not shorted. So I need to apply some algorithm so that I can get a shorted one. So what application is applying here for the merge algorithm what we will do that you can write down the steps also it is not at all shorted right. So we will do that compare first element compare first element of both array we are comparing the first element of both array which one is smaller put it in origin and continue this process we will continue this process how it is first element what are the first element 4 and 2 ok so 4 and 2 whenever I am comparing which one is the smallest one which one is the smallest one 2 is the smallest one so I am going to place 2 whenever I am putting it to the origin then delete it from source I am putting it to the origin and delete it from the source so 2 is now deleted got it I am going to delete 2 now so 2 is now deleted ok clear I am comparing the 4 and 2 and after comparing 4 and 2 2 is the minimum 1 I am giving it and now now the next next again the first element what are the first element now now the 2 is not here 2 is not present now the first element is here 4 and first element is 6 here now again we will do the comparison between 4 and 6 which one is smaller out of 4 and 6 4 is the smaller one I am going to delete the 4 got it is this clear with the first element always we are doing with the first element 4 and 6 comparison is done I am going to place it it's done here ok now what is this now 9 is the small 9 is the first one so 9 and 6 comparison will be done 9 and 6 which one is the smaller one 6 6 is coming here 6 is deleted now again I will compare with 6 and 11 which one is which one is this 9 and 11 9 is the smaller one it's deleted now now next element is 10 so 10 and 11 which one 10 delete the 10 after that 11 and 15 so 11 is the smaller take 11 delete 11 finally 15 and 18 so 15 is coming here and the last element is 18 so 18 is coming here clear always we are doing comparison with the first element and the another first element 
first element of the array 1 with the first element of array 2 comparison will be done which one is smaller place it into the origin and delete it from the source delete it from the source again do the same comparison between them and your process will be over is this clear is this clear to everyone is this clear to everyone yes or no the merge algo is clear if the merge algo is clear then the merge short will be clear otherwise merge short will be not clear merge algo is clear how the merge algo is going on this is the merge algorithm compare the first element of both array which one is smaller put it into the origin then delete it from the source that is the thing in march short going on so now if i am trying to short that one if i am trying to short the short a total one that is maybe like this 10 8 1 7 2 4 3 5 how the shorting will be going on here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i am going to divide into two part so here 10 8 1 and 7 here will be 2 4 3 5 after that i will divide into two part again 10 and 8 1 and 7 okay now after that what will be happen again i will divide into two part two four three five again i am dividing ten eight one seven here what will be 2, 4, 3, 5. Now we will start merge. This process is called divide. Here we are dividing. Now from here we will start merging. Here we will start merge. How to merge? Here 2 will be compared. There is only 2 element. That is 8 and 10. Out of 8 and 10, which one is smaller? 8. Delete 8 from the source. Only 10 is remaining. Put the 10. Same way. 1 and 7. First 1 will come. Delete it. 7 is remaining. Same way. 2 and 4. 2 will come. 4 is this. Same way. I will do 3. 3 is deleted. 5 is here. Right? Okay, good. Vibhavana, very good. Everything will be easy when you are learning in quick conceptually. When you are learning conceptually, then it will be very easy. Problem is that no one is there to tell you. That's why you are not getting. Right, that is the problem. When someone is there to teach you clearly, then anyone can understand. That is the problem. If anyone is there to teach us completely clearly, then we can understand everything right so what will be happen now now there are four elements here also there are four elements now tell me how to do now do it you will do it you will do it with me tell me tell me how to do first how to do tell me you will do it with me tell me solve it solve it because question will come from here in merge algorithm they can provide you like array and after that they will ask you what will be the next step. They can ask you what will be the next step. So the next step you have to be clear. Tell me what will be the answer. How to do it. What we will do. How to merge. How to merge. Yes. 1 and 
eight we are going to compare after that after that one is the minimum so delete one delete one right then 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 what to do then what to do then what to do then 8 and 7 then we need to compare 8 and 7 which one is minimum 7 is minimum delete 7 delete 7 after that remaining is only 8 and 10 that's why place 8 and 10 same way 2 and 3 2 and 3 means 2 is here delete 2 Three and four. Three is here. Delete three. Four and five. Four is here. Delete four. Remaining is five. So five will be here. Done. Now finally we are going to do the last one. The last one will be done here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two. I am going to compare now one and two, right? So one and two. Which one is minimum? One. One is coming here. Now seven and two. Which one is minimum? Two. Two will be deleted now. Now seven and three. Which one is minimum? Three. Three will be deleted. Seven and four. Which one is minimum? Four. Four is deleted. Now eight and five. Now we need to compare with seven and five. Seven and five. Which one is minimum? Five. Five is deleted. Now finally there is seven. So seven, eight, and ten. You got the shorted one. Clear. This is only mark short. Simple. This is only called mark short. Simple one. Very easy, very easy, simple. I hope it is simple. Yes, yes. So, what is the recurrence relation? What will be the recurrence relation of the mark shot? Mark shot recurrence relation means how to do T N A T. n by b plus fn so what is the value of a what is the value of a number of sub problem how many number of sub problems are there odd length then 3 4 if it is a odd length like 7 9 Take one one array. There will be three. Another array. There will be four. In one array, there will be three. Another array. There will be four. Like this way. Okay. So A is the number of sub problem. How many sub problems are there? At a time, we are taking two sub problem. Right. At a time, we are taking two sub problem. That's why number of sub problem is two. What is the value of n by b? Every time we are dividing into n by two. Every time we are dividing into half half. That's why it is two t n by two plus time to combine. Whenever you are combining, total how much time is required? What is the total time required? Total time required is order of n. So that's why here total time required is order of n. Right? Plus c. Now do that with the with the Moister theorem. What is the gn? Gn is n to the power log 2 base 2. That is n. Right? n to the power log 2 base 2 means n. So f n is also n, g n is also n. According to the third rule, we have to do theta of g n 
log n so that's why theta of n log n that is the complexity of mod short yes नहीं यहाँ पे आपको ऐसे ही करना पड़ेगा यहाँ पे कोई शॉर्टकट नहीं है यहाँ पे कोई भी शॉर्टकट नहीं है यहाँ पे ऐसे ही करना है मार्च ऐसे ही करना है क्लियर दैट्स वाई योर मार्च शॉर्ट इज ऑर्डर ऑफ इन लॉग इन in this way it is coming and that is your recurrence relation of mod short questions are coming from here what is the recurrence relation of mod short this is the recurrence relation of mod short and this is your complexity complexity of mod short okay theek hai clear to everyone clear i hope so चलो तो फिर क्यू क्विक शॉट भी कर लो हाउ टू डू द क्विक शॉट वट इज क्विक शॉट जस्ट लाइक द मार्क शॉट वेन एवर वी आर डूइंग क्विक शॉट क्विक शॉट इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन ए पी वॉट एलिमेंट क्विक शॉट वेन एवर इज वर्किंग इट इज वर्किंग इन ए पी वॉट एलिमेंट एंड इट इज वर्किंग ऑन पार्टीशन एल्गोरिदम partition algorithm this is very very important focus everyone everyone focus here questions are coming from here also these are algorithms are very very important okay so quick shot is working on partition algorithm and the pivot element normally we are taking the first element as pivot always we are taking the first element as pivot and we will do the partition algorithm now how the partition algorithm is working for that i am writing the algorithm here and we will solve the question here so that you can understand the partition algorithm here the partition algorithm is working like this way first of all i am writing code then i will explain you okay already we did santu you join let later that's why ma'am could you elaborate working of master theorem with example already done when you join class started from 3 pm already we did it you can watch the recording we already did it okay santu first time first at the time of 330 within 330 we complete that it's going on already now two and uh, half hours already going on okay santu you can watch the recording later continue here after that you can you can do it yes so here the partition algorithm is going on like this way partition algorithm how it is working understand very carefully everyone concentrate here it is little bit tricky you need to concentrate and it is very very important it is very very important okay everyone everyone must must concentrate otherwise you will be not able to understand okay yes so see that here how to do partition a p q here we are taking x equals to ap what it is i will explain let me write it after that i will explain how it is going on for j equals to i plus 1 j less or equals to q j plus plus now if here is the main thing if aj less or equals to x then we are doing i equals to i plus 1 and here we are doing a swap ai and aj we will do the swap between ai and aj here 
then it is ending here after that the for loop is also ending here after ending for loop again there is a swap between a p and a i then finally it is returning finally it is returning i position of i it will return okay now everyone please concentrate here so that you can understand what is actually going on what is actually going on you can concentrate and you can understand what is going on here because ultimate thing is partition quick shot is calling partition algorithm just like the mart shot mart shot is calling merge algorithm recursively quick shot is calling partition algorithm recursively and by calling the partition algorithm recursively it will be able to short it okay so here partition algorithm working like this way ki whatever my pivot element i will take all the less than element of the left hand side and greater than element in the right hand side but it not mandatory ki it will be shorted maybe this is not shorted this is also not shorted but all less than element will be in the left hand side all greater than element will be in the right hand side that is the main thing so when this is going on how it will be work how it will work see that here it will work like this way i am taking an example that is the array here 10 and 5 theek hai this is my array now what is my pivot element my pivot element is 10 okay so here you can see we are calling array p q p is your pivot element p is what this is your ultimately pivot element so what is your pivot element p is 10 here p is 10 here so position of ap this is the i am taking the position from the position ap means it is the pivot element position that is zero and the end element what is the end q is the end end is 10 here end is 1 2 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what is the q value q is 7 p value is 0 so x value is 10 here because my starting position is this one okay what is my i value i value is 0 here i value is 0 because it is starting with 0 now what is going on see that i will start with j equals to i plus 1 here i and j is mainly paying the game we have to think about i j i value is 0 j value is 1 now i value 0 j value 1 now i am coming to this loop here it is coming to the loop what is going on if a j less than x what is the value of a j if a j less or equals to x what is the value of a j a j means that is 2 2 is less than 10 2 is less than 10 2 is less than 10 is it correct or false a j i am writing here i am writing here 2 is less than 10 is it true or false it is true right 2 is less than 10 it is true so this statement is true as the statement is true i will do i equals to i plus 1 means i value is updated to 1 now i value is updated to 1 now and what i am doing 
swap between here very important what the swapping is going on check it swapping is going on between ai and aj that is the swapping going on so what is the value of i here i is also 1 j is also 1 so ultimately swapping is going on between a1 and a1 is it or not because i value is also 1 here j value is also 1 here is this clear is this clear a value is also i value is also 1 j value is also 1 so ultimately there is no swapping ultimately two will be in that position only is this clear tell me is it clear this part is ultimate thing all the game is here only i am zooming it little bit so that you can understand the game what is the game going on here is the game aj less or equals to x if it is less or equals to x here aj less or equals to x i am checking this one ki yes this one aj that is 1 that is 2 2 is less or equals to 10 true whenever it is true i am increasing i equals to i plus 1 that's why i did i equals to i plus 1 so now i value change to 1 so i value is also 1 j value is also 1 now the swapping is going between ai and aj means ultimately there is no swapping that will be in the same place right ultimately there is no swapping is this clear is this clear to everyone i hope so tell me tell me i am waiting for your chat if it is clear then i can go to the next until now those who are watching you can click on the like button because till now i can see 95 likes okay that's good it's clear clear very good very good now what will be happen next now tell me what will be the happen next what will be the next next means it is going to the for loop again j value will be incremented now so the j value is incremented to 2 now so that j is here now j is here now i am comparing between aj and x so the comparison is going on between 1 less or equals to 10 1 less or equals to 10 true or false it is also true as this is true again i value will be incremented to 2 i equals to i plus 1 i value will be incremented to 2 again what will be happen yes again what will be happen same swapping will be going on with a2 and a2 because i value is also 2 j value is also 2 so ultimately no swapping again it will be going on 9 less or equals to 10 yes true that's why again this value is j value is updated to 3 i value is also updated to 3 that's why a also 3 b also 3 both are three swap three with three no swapping ultimately right now next checking is 18 less or equals to 10 18 less or equals to 10 here this condition is false 18 less or equals to faith faith when there was j value was 4 and i value was 3 now this condition is false as this condition is false what will be happen now as this condition is false that's why this i value will be not incremented this condition is false that's why i incrementation will be not done swapping will be not done this if condition it will not execute this if condition right 
as it is false it will not execute this if condition i value will be not updated j value will be updated here here is the ultimate game i value is not updating j value is updating here so when i value is not updating j value is updating means j value is updating to 5 i value not updated i value last value is 3 only now what will be happen 12 is less or equals to 10 is it true it is again false again i value will be not updated j value will be updated to 6 14 is less or equals to 10 it is also false again i value not updated j value updated to 7 now here 5 is less or equals to 10 it is true now this is true whenever this is true now i value will be updated here now for this condition i value will be updated for this one i less or equals to 10 yes now i value will be updated last i value was 3 this 3 value will be now updated to 4 now here is ultimate swapping going on now the swapping will be between what now here the swapping will be going on between a i and a j that swapping is ultimately now between a i is now 4 and a j is now 7 so between a 4 and a 7 now there will be a swapping got it now between a4 and a7 now there will be the swapping so ultimately what was going on why it was going on think it try to recap it what was going on ultimately if i was taking this one i was taking this one that is 10 2 1 9 8 10 2 1 14 and 5 i took this one right now for this one when i took this one pivot element my target was all the less than element will be the left hand side all the greater than will be in the right hand side that's why i check it 10 i was taking that 2 is less or equals to 10 false 1 is less or equals to 10 false 9 is less or equals to 10 true this was not true this was false not true this was true this was also true so means i got a position that okay till this point it was less than i was trying to find out the position ki which are less than 10 so i saw that 2 is less than 10 1 is less than 10 9 is less than 10 means i fix the position here that's why i value was incremented first time i value was 0 it was incremented to 1 2 3 that was 0 to incremented to 1 2 and 3 that's why i value was incremented after that when i got to 18 18 is less or equals to 10 false so that's why i did not increment because my target was ki i am trying to put the 10 what are less than me after that i am trying to put the 10 so that all element will be less than and other element will be greater than that's why i stop incrementing i but the j value is updated here till now j value was updated 0 1 2 3 it was updated now j value came to 4 it is updated now j value came to 5 it is updated now j value came to 6 it is updated now i value did not updated when j value came to 7 then we saw that again 5 is less or equals to 10 that was true 
so means i understand that there is another value which is less than 10 that's why i am doing here swapping so that i can get the place and i update the value to 4 that's why i update the value to 4 so when i am doing the swapping here what will be happen here this will be swapped to in this position 5 and 18 this is swapping here 5 and 18 done yes now what will be happen now it is coming out from the loop after coming out from the loop again the last swapping will be happen here this is the last swapping between ap and ai so what is the last swapping last swapping will be going on ap means that was a0 and ai ai means that is a4 that is my last swapping will be going on and i value is now updated to 5 i5 ultimately i value is updated to 5 now right so finally i will do the swapping between this one 5 and i4 sorry i5 not i4 it was 4 only so now i will do the swapping between this one and this one that's why i am getting this now that is 5 will be here then 2 1 9 and then 10 will be here 12 14 and 18 so finally you got it see that all less than element in the left hand side all greater than element in the right hand side is it or not yes or no that is your first partition this is your first partition ultimately the first partition is done got it clear how the first partition is done now same way we will continue it and we will get this same way we are going to continue is this clear what is going on in the partition algorithm is this clear little bit tricky quick shot is little bit tricky but in this way actually it will be going on same process we will continue here so same process will be here it was your initial stage that 10 2 1 9 18 12 14 and 5 so from this step i will get that key this one will be 5 will be here then 2 1 9 and 10 will be here then 18 12 and 14 now i got the place now we will apply partition algorithm here also here also same way i will take this 5 i will try to apply partition algorithm here what is the correct place for 5 2 1 5 then 9 again i will apply the partition algorithm here what is the correct place for 18 12 18 uh, 14 uh, what is the correct place for this one 12 14 and 18 i am getting the correct place after that this one is done so again i will apply the partition algorithm here so 2 is my pivot element so 1 2 5 already here so it is 9 now you are getting here this one it is there now i am doing this one is done i am doing partition algorithm here so it is 12 so same place there is now no change 12 and 14 now we will merge it now we will merge it like that okay, okay this is 5 9 i got it here it is 12 14 18 i got it and that 10 was here i got it so it is your final array got it it is your final array 1 2 5 9 10 12 14 18 just we are doing in this way 
pivot element take the first element make it this is your first step this is your second step and ultimately this is your third step this is the way how it will be going on okay clear i hope so i hope it is clear yes i will ask you question i will ask you question can i ask you question acha let's do the question i hope you can do the question now do this one do this one if it is clear then you can do it do it my mobile charge is over let me take the charger do it so here is the answer sir coming yes answer will be this one very good very good answer will be this one because it is very clear seven if i am taking then all the less than element all are greater than element for nine also it is satisfying all are less than all are greater than and that's why this will be your answer all of you are correct very good very good all of you all of you are doing correct answer that is good very good okay now let's do some question so mostly your searching shorting algorithm is done so now let's do some question okay ha huh. before doing the question it is your chart this is your quick revision chart and this quick revision chart is very very important here you can see the time complexity best case worst case average case must note it down here we did this bubble short selection short insertion short mark short quick short and other algorithm you can remember because all these algorithm we cannot cover in one class that is so definitely not possible these are all important that's why we did it here you can see in mark short space complexity is n that's why it is not a in place algorithm mark short only is not in place other than that everyone is in place algorithm mark short and quick short is also not a in place algorithm because quick short quick short is also using the different array right before element and all so that's why mark short is not a in place algorithm here so here is your another important chart other than searching shorting there are some other algorithm like the digestra kruskal's prims dfs bfs hoffman bellman ford floyd versal topological chart kruskal algorithm these are most important chart from where two marks is confirmed always two marks is coming from this area because comparison question i am going to ask you that comparison question from the chart do it quickly take a notes take a screenshot and then we will go for the question okay ready everyone everyone is ready 
to do the question okay now do this one do this one do this one quickly all the question we will do solve quickly after that we will end the session because uh, maybe floyd virtual bellman for today will be not possible uh, we will do the question after that we will end because at least within 6:30 i have to end because 7 pm again the class is there 7 pm we have a marathon again yes answers are coming very good very good answers are coming because why it is focusing on the in place algorithm p is a in place algorithm p is the in place algorithm q is not in place algorithm q is not in place algorithm just now i told you that the merge short is not a in place algorithm it is not a in place algorithm right other than that these all are in place merge short is not in place algorithm because it is taking another array so that's why you can see not in place algorithm is merge short so q will be merge short and that's why your answer will be merge short definitely this is the answer okay okay clear right side acha i am going to do this take a screenshot you can take the screenshot done done Okay, now take this screenshot. Now take this one. Okay, I hope it is done. Chalo. Now, so it is this answer. So we did this one. This question was also done. So now do this one. Do this one quickly. We have an array. of an element suppose you implement quick sort by always choosing the central element of the array as p what then tightest upper bound for the worst case performance is do this what will be the answer for this one yes answers are coming option a is the correct answer very good quick shot is also in place yes nila is asking quick shot is in place yes quick shot is also in place only merge shot is not in place only merge shot is not in place quick shot is also in place okay take it now do this one now this is we did yesterday here the characteristics of an optimal solution compute the optimal solution in bottom up approach which of the common both dynamic and greedy which are the common in both dynamic and greedy tell me the answer yes here answer is only s1 because both are not bottom up one is top down another is bottom up here it is given both are bottom up both are not bottom up one is top down another is bottom up here do the matching 
this type of matching is 100% confirm question one question is always asking from the matching 100% confirm topic one question always coming here so how to do the matching do it prims disaster foster wall and the edmond cups matching do the matching do the matching and from this matching prepare your short note definitely prepare your short note prepare all that tightest upper bound means worst case tightest upper bound means worst case okay yes the option 2 is the correct answer from the question definitely write down your short note very important now do this one greedy base first lowest cost a star it is related to ai also this is related to ai also we did in ai we did this question in ai so after that i will uh, just i am showing you the difference between disaster cruskers and floyd warshall what is the main difference the main difference is disaster asplenum is just like the prims minimum spanning tree and it is going on mmst and it is the single source shortest path this is single source shortest path algorithm it is just finding the source to root okay bellman ford it is the dynamic approach and the algorithm calculated shortest path with bottom up because just now i told dynamic is the bottom up fashion first calculate the shortest distance at most one each degree path then calculate the shortest path at most in the two edge and so on in this way this is going on bellman ford floyd warshall it is a all pair this one is also a single source this one is also single source this one is also single source but only floyd warshall is all pair shortest path only floyd warshall is all player shortest path detail i cannot go because 7 pm again the class i have to also take little bit rest so that's why the difference you can see the bellman ford algorithm this one and this one main difference is disaster is order of ve and sometimes we are telling its order of v square also order of ve means why it is calling v square i am telling you because v e means what number of e will be always v minus 1 so it is v dot v minus 1 so v dot v minus 1 means v square that's why either we can say v e or we can say v square also for the uh, for the bellman ford and the disaster for the disaster sorry it is not for the bellman ford it is for the disaster we are telling v square not for the here uh, this is coming ve if we are doing in this one so that's why v square is coming under disaster okay it more time consuming than disaster algorithm its time complexity is ve but disaster is taking average case order of e log v in average case it is order of e log v but in worst case it is v square in worst case it will be v square it is a dynamic it is a degree d approach and here is the floyd warshall so the difference between disaster and floyd warshall you can see the disaster is e log v but floyd warshall is order of v cube this is coming under cube v cube and this is a single source one and this is the all pair that is the main difference the main difference is very very important must remember the main difference okay must must remember it acha now here we need to do this one do this matching do this matching the matchings are very very important this is a 100% confirm area do it Here you can see Bellman Ford, Kruskal, Floyd Warshall, topological short.
what will be the answer yes answers are coming here answer will be 3 definitely answer will be 3 because just now we did the bellman ford is order of m n floyd Virchow is n square so with that you can n cube that is n cube so just now we did this floyd Virchow is n cube c will be with 2 so you can see here c with 2 so that's why it is your answer right yes so now the next one again the matching question all the matching question we will do and here these questions we already solve here is another matching do this matching do this matching here you can see breath first robin curve death first hip shot quick shot just match it match it quickly yes yes so here what will be the answer here the answer is again option 3 because your quick shot quick shot worst case what is your quick shot worst case quick shot or first case is n square that is the quick shot worst case right so worst case of the quick shot is coming n square that's a quick shot complexity i did not tell you right quick shot complexity quick shot complexity and just i am telling here you that that i forgot to tell you so here i am adding a page so that we can discuss here only what is the recurrence relation and the quick shot recurrence relation how it will be it will be actually order of n plus t m minus p plus t q minus m because of the pivot element from the pivot element we are dividing right but we cannot we are not sure ki it will be half and half it can be a pivot element in the hair and all other greater than or it can be the pivot element is here and all are less than that can be the possibility in best case whenever we are going for best case in best case it will be tn best case it will be just half that is t n by 2 plus again t n by 2 plus n then we can say t 2n by 2 plus n so that's why it will be log n that's why it will be your order of n log n but in worst case in worst case what can be this is possible in best case but in worst case it can be like that kit tn equals to all are in one side and another one element in one side then it is coming order of n square because when one element is here and all other is here i cannot make partition so then the worst case is coming order of n square that's why quick shot worst case is n square and best case is order of n log n that is the best case okay clear is this clear i hope it is clear to everyone yes so here you can see the topological shot we just now we did this one that's why okay, yes bellman for topological shot cruise call and this one we did already uh, edmond curves is it done i think not do this one Prims, Dijastra, first, Faster, All Pair and Edmond Curve. What will be the answer? What will be the answer?
आंसर आंसर yes here answer is 2 because disaster algorithm is your b is your b square because don't be confused just now i told disaster algorithm sometimes worst case can be b square also worst case can be b square also that's why we are matching with this one okay prims is here prims is matching with this one that is order of log b first order so first term first term all pair shortest part that will be with this one and edmond curve will be with this one in worst case it is going about the worst case that's why it is going for b square okay now here again you can see this time complexity of uh, disaster kruskal floyd versal topological short i think we did this one so this is the answer and here is the space complexity the space complexity of bfs dfs depth limited and iterative depending search here is the space complexity and this is the last question for today so we did a long class of data structure algorithm more than 3 hours class 3 hours 11 minute it's showing so it is more than 3 hours class we did today for algorithm only but still now it's not completed because it is not possible to complete all the algorithm definitely so stay tuned before exam how much possible i cover all the algorithm in detail because there is no way of shortcut we cannot go for shortcut there is no way of shortcut that's why we did it so here your answer will be this one a will be with 2 because this is your a b c d so bfa search the complexity is this one this is the complexity this is the complexity and this is the complexity so that's why your answer is this one okay okay yes so mm, here i am ending the session all the time complexity main importance algorithm already we did complexity analysis we did and i hope some question definitely some of the question you will get from this class i have tried to cover in depth because question will be in depth floating floating upar upar is not possible just we will do the question in that way algorithm you cannot handle algorithm is only possible when you are learning algorithm then only you can understand it then only you can handle it concept was required so i try to cover all the concept after the class please come back and put a comment here try to come back and put a comment here and bless me and pray for me so that my voice will be fine just bless me and play for me so that my throat will be fine i can put my 100% effort but my throat should be fine if my throat is not fine then i am not able to talk that is really bothering me so just i need your blessing just bless me okay bye everyone 7 pm already one class is scheduled i will try i will try my level best to come at 7 pm also so i need your blessing only thank you bye everyone bye 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 see you again 7 pm okay i am giving the link also for 7 pm uh this is the link uh, where is the 7 pm class link mm, wait i am giving you the link for 7 pm also there you can join <coughs> i will try today only 7 pm if by chance if i am not able to take then tomorrow i will take if by chance i am not able to take today then tomorrow definitely i will take the class for marathon okay because yes this is the marathon link here this is the class on an academy channel an academy youtube channel class is there so i will try to take the class today only if 
if my throat is not supporting then i will class take the this class tomorrow okay yes bye bye everyone see you again tomorrow like share subscribe as much as possible share this video share this channel to all of your friend and comment here okay so your support is very very important bye everyone